feel, especially for the North Carolina State fans? I mean, also for yeah. the UCLA fans, but they, you know, presumably, maybe if they're coming from L.A., didn't have to make as long of a journey. Uh, but for those North Carolina State <laughs> fans that had to come cross country, you and know, here they they are. feel for you. Yeah. And fans we talked with today said they felt pretty blindsided by the abrupt cancellation of the Holiday Bowl. That's right. The big game was set to kick off at 5 p.m. Now, News 8's Heather Hope talked with some of those disappointed fans right after they learned the surprising news. Heather? And we just caught up with those disappointed fans, not even allowed to go inside Petco Park. They were so excited to see their favorite teams face off UCLA and North Carolina State. All that changed due to COVID. It's not good. <laughs> Upset and outside Petco Park, Holiday Bowl ticket holders hope to be inside for the much anticipated game of UCLA Bruins versus the North Carolina State Wolfpack. This is going to be the highlight of our holiday, you know, to come down to the Holiday Bowl and be here in San Diego. Inside an empty stadium, late this afternoon, the Holiday Bowl canceled the big game. A statement from the San Diego Padres reads in part, we have been notified by the Holiday Bowl that tonight's game at Petco Park will not be played due to COVID-19 protocols within UCLA LA's football program. We will issue further information regarding the refund process shortly. I thought that they'd at least give 24 hours notice. Fans said they found out on social media. Through Twitter. We, through Twitter. Yeah. We found out through Twitter. It's it's kind of surprising. It's like, why would they, you know, so close to the game? It's been difficult for those who traveled far from North Carolina. I don't, I don't really understand what's changed. It seems like we made it through the regular season without any impacts and then suddenly during bowl season. So it's either the rules have changed or more likely it's just because we're in the midst of a COVID outbreak and there's nothing we can do. Also a sudden change for the college team staying at the Marriott Marquis. Now told it's time to go due to no game. They're you know, almost 100% vaccinated team, so it shouldn't have been an issue in terms of anybody's actual health. They were all at SeaWorld the other day. Yesterday they all went on the Midway. They managed that, but couldn't manage to get here for a five o'clock kickoff. Tom Shortridge says he was at least excited to see his daughter Faith in the Holiday Bowl Parade, part of UCLA's band's color guard, but he also wanted to see UCLA play. They're the ones that canceled the game. They said they couldn't play. They didn't have enough people. I heard it was they didn't have enough defensive linemen or whatever. With so many spirited UCLA fans in town, many were left stunned at no bowl game. Should have been a really good game. Very exciting. Both teams are very good offense and we're triple vaxxed both of us so you know we thought there should be no problems <laughs> yeah. heather hope news eight